Hey guys, uh, just doing a quick video, uh, first impression video of the new Ferris SRS Z2 mowers. Um, just picked them up yesterday, they're brand new machines, uh, we bought two of them. Uh, these particular models we decided to go with 52 inch decks, they're the ICD cutting decks, um, and the uh, Briggs and Stratton Vanguard fuel injected 28 horsepower motors. Um, so first impression of these things, for the money they're really well built. Uh, because we bought two of them we were able to get the fleet pricing program which knocks $600 per unit off the price uh, saving a total of $1200 off of the um, overall bill which is you know really helpful. Um, and they're just a really well built unit and uh, what I really like the most about it is everything, well there's grease points everywhere uh, which I mean some people might see as a nuisance but uh, it, me being a maintenance guy, I, I, I really like that. And uh, everything just seems kind of overbuilt. They're really heavy machines. Um, they're, I believe they're like around the 900 pound range. Um, have really good, they're 23 10 50 tires, uh, which their car allows. Um, really good tread pattern. I've never seen that tread pattern, but it looks like it'll be a good performer. Um, moving to the back. trip over here um, really nice operator platform uh, plenty of space on there that uh, is the coil over spring um, so uh, it, it seems to have a lot of plush to it I got to adjust it a little bit for our weight but uh, other than that I think it'll be very soft riding it um, huge fuel tank I believe it's seven and a half gallons you can flip up and see it there. There's a little fuel gauge on top. Um, it's just enormous. And then down here and over here is the hydro release so you can push around your garage or some of that nature. Uh, there is a hole up here so the operator can look down through there and see the fuel gauge. Not very practical, but you know it is what it is. Um, I'm not real sure what this is. Somebody told me that it was for a light kit. I guess Ferris has a lot of light kits available, so we'll never end up using it, but, you know. Um, your deck adjust is here. It's all a one-pin adjustment. You see, just pull this one little pin out and just stick it back in wherever you're going you're gonna to mow at. And it goes from, uh, let's see here, it looks like 2-inch, probably all the way up to 4-inch, in or uh, I'm sorry, all the way up to 5-inch in quarter-inch increments. Um, and it, from the operator's platform, it's very light. Um, you know, it is spring assisted. You can see the spring right here. Um, you know, if you let go, oop, it just falls down nice and easy. Um, so it's not like it's a real heavy deck, um, which is a good thing. Uh, one of the attractive parts of these mowers with it was we had the Toro T bar walk behinds previously. So this will be a real easy platform for us to use again. And I really like this little deal here. Uh, you can select your max speed using this bar. And uh, so if you're mowing in wet conditions, you'd bring it back to the slower. Dry conditions, you bring it up to the faster. I think this machine will go like 10 miles per hour is what Ferris rated it at, um, which is pretty good. Uh, this is your parking brake. Um, Everything else, you see there's the operator's platform, very, very plush. Um, I played with one before I bought them, haven't messed with them yet, uh, haven't even drove them around the yard yet, uh, and they're very comfortable riding. Um, on this side, one part that really stood out to me is this cool oil drain right here that they put on. Everybody else, you know how it is, they puke it out right onto the frame and it makes a mess. So it's kind of neat to see them actually think about that, um, which is kind of cool. Up here, two hydraulic reservoirs. Uh, it's kind of nice. It's not like our Toros that used to take that Hyper 500 hydraulic oil. These are uh, just straight 2050 motor oil that you can pick up anywhere. That's uh, really nice. Um, a lot of electronic stuff on this motor. Uh, you know, we've never had a fuel injector motor, so that's all new. Um, I hope it doesn't bite us in the butt, but uh, we'll see. Uh, so it's all a 
really well built. Um, you know, I think it'll work out real well. Uh, I just figured I'd do a first uh, first impression video. I'll do another one later this summer when we actually get to use it. Uh, there's not really any information out on these yet since they're so new. Um, here, I can do a quick startup on them. Thanks, guys.